Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-month uh, reading. I'm using the regular playing cards as I do in the mid-month readings. And I'm also taking a card from the Light Seekers Tarot. Can you see that okay? There you go. So um, I really like these uh, playing cards I just got. I love that they're horses heads for one thing. But I like that I can see which is top and which is bottom. I like to do um, upside right, you know, readings, not reversals, because uh, I want to manifest the best possible outcome for you. So we're going to start with the Light Seekers card and see what we have for Virgo. What do we have? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my. I am going to take a look at these quickly. Ah, message is coming in. Um, okay, there could be, um, geez, um, So it looks like there's something that you had to endure, could have been physically. You may get some sort of compensation. And you also may be getting together with family, people, someone from the past may come around. Something to do with some sort of loyalty. Um, you also could have felt poked and prodded and... Um, uh challenged perhaps challenged okay um you could have started a regime of healing could be thinking of starting a new business you could have an idea for some sort of um to to uh, could be even a new home or um, something like that, moving in or sharing a place with somebody. Um, yeah, I see a message, and the there's the two of cups, eh? So this is, could be a date, you know, could be a meeting um, about this thing you want to do. I could have something to do with support, some sort of support system or support service or something like that okay let's throw those back in there give it a bit of a shuffle and cut them for you what do we got for virgo oh, they're ready they are ready all right let's get going shall we Hmm. So I make seven piles in all, six in this uh, little circle here, and then one on the side for the surprise, the expectation sort of position. And then I'll give these a quick shuffle. You have a major event happening, I'm going to tell you that right now, Virgo, a major event um something well it's going to change your world um you feel re you feel ready or oh ooh ooh look at that you're going after something perhaps that you've always wanted it's something to do with yourself uh could have to do with healing, I really feel, or self-care, something like that, self-care. Um, all right, so let's, let's, uh, let's cut these and get on with it. You guys are my last ones. So I go around three times and till I have three cards in each pile. I lay them out face down, but right side up. Like I said, I don't do reversals. And, um, and I turn.
turn them over as I get to them. Kind of deal with them as I get to them. All right, let's see what we got. Here's the present moment, this pile here. First of all, you have temperance, you know. He's, temperance is about um, forging, you know. And when we forge something, we're trying to um, make it into something else. Anyway you there you may you have a lot of fire and a lot of water perhaps you know and there's one is maybe too much fire and not enough water when you're doing forging it's got to be the exact right amount of both to be able to make this beautiful sword or whatever um and here is when you're figuring it out what you need what you need more of to balance out your life. I'm getting I'm getting the feeling this is in a kind of a spirituality, healing, wellness kind of way. Oh. Um yeah. Oops, I went and put it in the middle. Did you see that? I went and put it in the middle. So there's some gonna be some sort of change in your um wellness um you could even go to a retreat or some sort of retreat at the beginning of next well this is happening right now you could be practicing some sort of regime but my my words you could be going to a retreat at the beginning of next year or creating something like this you know um something to do with your wellness and you're bringing more of something into your life that you feel um you know it's the moderation right you make moderation Along with that, it has something to do with your success, too. Um, so you have the Nine of Diamonds, the Four of Hearts, and the Four of Diamonds. So there's you, I think you have some sort of ambition here. But I got to tell you, I think it's on a spiritual wellness level. I'm also getting an idea of uh, a center, maybe a wellness center. Or something like that a place to gather um, you are undecided of how much you want to invest in it or how much you should invest in it like I said you're still trying to keep your balance and the even flow of your life right um, coming in you have the Emperor which is a four which is about stability this is the boss the leader the the uh you either lead the home the company the community this person does anyway this person this could be you or someone around you could be this king of diamonds um and the king of diamonds is mature i got i have to tell you could be a green-eyed man. You could have gray, silver, plat probably not platinum. Could be a woman, too. Um, but it's represented as male here, and so is the emperor, the father. So strong male energy. Um, there, uh, uh, the, I get the person, this get the idea this person upsets you. Or accepts you or or you um, anyway there's some change for the better with this person okay there's a change for the better there is uh, I get the idea of um, getting not rewarded but uh, there's like a sentiment for some sort of emotional sentiment here with this person or from this person Virgo in the next week 
I would say, in the next week, five days, okay? Um, could make you cry, like happy tears. You get really emotional. Um, this could be to you if you're the emperor, if you're the boss, the leader, the, the you know, the matriarch or patriarch of uh, the situation. Anyway, there's some sort of gift or token of appreciation of um, something here. Oh, it's going to make you all emotional. All right. Above you on your mind is the hanged man. And this is uh, a new perspective of a new view. Uh, it's also a pause, I'm going to tell you. And like I said, you're thinking about this. You're thinking about, like you've been given a glimpse of something different. And now I think you need to consider that. You need to actually look that way. Have a look at it at least, okay? Woo, is it ever windy out today? Oh my, look at that. Ten of clubs, two of diamonds, two of clubs. This is a business meeting. Um, it could be about, like you're thinking of ending some sort of work you've been doing or a body of work you've been doing. Um, you're coming to some sort of completion on something that you've been working on for a long time. You've put uh, hours into this, okay? Or it could be the way you worked at something, the way you thought it worked or the way it used to work something like that okay um and so there's uh there's meetings going on here there's meetings um mm. well these and this is in your mind so you're thinking about this you're thinking about you know ending something completing something and you may be networking or talking to people or meeting with people about something else you want to begin here. It looks like to me. Um, it could be because it's financial too. So it's got some sort of fine. You might be meeting with your bank or financial person. But it, you're like I said, you got a glimpse of something that you need to look, want to look into perhaps, and maybe that's what you're doing in these meetings. You're looking into something else, all right? Now, in your work <laughs> pile, here's the Ten of Swords. This is the end. You know, look at how bright the future is. I know these birds are hanging around and making a lot of noise and, and, you can't shut out the sound of them, but you know where you're going is clearer, quieter, better. It's a good thing. It might be something difficult to end, it might be difficult to end or leave this job or leave this type of work, you know? Yeah, it's a job site. I got the feeling you're leaving a job site. Uh, Jack of Hearts six of diamonds nine of clubs i get the feeling there's a new job site I, I think you've been offered more money somewhere else but there's emotional attachment to the old place okay that's why you're hu all hung up about it you're all hung up about it um about leaving that okay i think you met good people there with good times something but you're beginning something new. You've been offered something new, more money. Could have travel involved. And also could have to do with youth or kids. Um, you know, it's like good news, but it's bittersweet kind of thing. Okay. Um could be something you really love. Um, there might you might be concerned about the permanence of it. Like, is this stable? 
as this, you know, it might feel a bit risky slightly. Okay. I don't think you're doubtful and I don't think you're scared. I think you're enthused. But like I said, change is hard, right? Change is hard. Um, here in your exterior influences, you have the world. This is going through a threshold ready. You've learned all kinds of lessons. You're, you know, I like that she's standing in that, um, that hoop, that circle, that medicine wheel. And, um, there's like a mandala within, in the light behind her. She's carved this path herself. You know, people see you as ascending to the next level you uh like when we go through judgment and the world we've learned all the lessons we've gotten all the teachings we need now we're net, net ready for the next responsibility the next level it's like when in your 20s or however you are old you are and you have a child now you're a parent now it's a whole different set of responsibilities but being ready for it to embrace it welcome it you know what i mean and i'm not saying there's a baby coming i'm not saying that but i'm just saying that kind of transition where you're you're moving up to the next level and and it's not just you that is doing it you're welcomed you know you're welcome it's like hi come on in oh you're the new one eh right on so here we go there's the ace of spades the eight of diamonds and the nine of hearts so something is ending and you're going through that world right uh there's good talk a lot of good talk a lot of networking um this is something that's gonna this is a dream come true this is a dream come true for you others are seeing you succeed you're you're, you're successful happy they could even be envious of you but there's something ending here you're walking away from something and entering a whole new realm a whole new arena okay but you've you're ready you know you're ready and people see you that way they see you as ready oh wow this is nice so the foundation look at that three of clubs i really like this card look at that that looks like the little dipper up there the big dipper one at one of the dippers right and it's leading the way it's pointing in the direction this is a time of celebration success we did it you know, coming together with the girls, the guys. Um, um, it's expansion, you know, expansion of something you'd love. It could be in relationship to, um, is starting to move into something more, you know. Then you have the six of spades the king of clubs and the three of spades the king of clubs is a brown or hazel eyed male or female um it's represented as male here you have two males here strong male energy but it could be female too anyway um this person is creative talk about manifesting this person is very much can do that make things happen um but they're kind of fun loving they're very friendly they are helpful now there's some sort of step back with this person there's been something unraveled here and an obstacle an obstacle to working together um there could be some sort of reconciliation with you and somebody or a, a, some people. Um, you may have to work with this person or one of these people work together. 
Um, there's something in the past, though, that went wrong. Something went wrong in the past that, you know, can be righted. It's a time now where it can be righted. All right. And the surprise. You have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is the card where there's a mask, there's a costume, you know, and the costume looks all together, you know, the master, the teacher, the one that knows it, has it all, has it going on, but inside, uh, there's still struggle, there's torment, there's not believing the picture you're presenting, okay? This is not believing your own act, right? You, others, you're showing others this part of yourself, you know, you're, like I said, you got it together. Um, perhaps you could even be a leader, a beacon, but inside, in the mirror, what you see of yourself is someone trapped, trapped in their mind, um, not able to see, like not able to free yourself in a way, not able to free yourself in your mind. Outside, it doesn't look like there's an issue. You look solid as can be, but inside there are issues, okay? There's something that is still tormenting you. Um, and you have with that the King of Spades, the Queen of Clubs, and the Three of Diamonds. Um, so the King of Spades is a very dark-eyed male or female. This person is single, separated, divorced. Um, they could have a chip on their shoulder too. Like they're known, known as scorned. They feel scorned all the time, right? Um, also could be a professional doctor, lawyer, uh, logical. Um, they only want to deal in facts, you know. And then there is um, the Queen of Clubs. The Queen of Clubs is a brown or hazel-eyed woman. She's very creative, um, practical perhaps, fun-loving, friendly, and can make things happen. Now, hmm, you know, we have kind of a wish card happening here, or a celebration uh, happening here. Um, hmm. There could be a surprise celebration for you from these people. Could be um, an engagement happening here. There's something you feel trapped in here. Like it all looks good on the outside. It all looks good on the outside. But there's some something you feel tra trapped in. I, I, I get the feeling you feel like you can't say anything. You know, you if you say anything, then you're disrupting the whole status quo. And it's going to be, you know, worse than it is now kind of thing. You're, you're feeling, um, I get the idea of responsible for, you know, holding on to this uh, could be an idea you know um, I'm not sure if you want to get into this this couple this arrangement this um, I don't, I don't think you're ready, maybe. I don't think, uh, there's something,
Like I feel like you feel like you can't say anything or you're going to be, you know, the one that people are saying, oh, geez, well, you know, you're going to feel to blame. I get that idea to blame. All right. So Virgo, the thing is, you know, I, th that's just one thing I got to say. I think it's more in your mind than it is. I think things will actually work out. But that's something you've got to let go of, that blame game, that maybe that's what you need to let go of, is feeling to blame or feeling responsible for more than you really are, right? I think it's going to work out, but you're thinking, it ain't. This is, I'm going to get blamed for this somewhere. <laughs> You know, but I don't think you have to worry as much as you do. All right. Anyway, Virgo, please let me know in the comments if this resonates for you. I'd be very interested to know. Um, also, uh, this ad-free video is brought to you this month by the sign Scorpio and Sagittarius. It's their birthday and their time to send in their annual $25 contribution to my channel to show appreciation for me, my time and energy and what I do. I sure appreciate it and it means a lot to me, I gotta tell ya. The $25, excuse me, <coughs> is symbolizes a dollar per video I put out for each sign. And I put about approximately 25 videos more actually but that's the average a year for each sign and so that's a dollar per video and that's a one time a year thing also you could like share and subscribe it's all free and it helps me a lot i really appreciate it anyway yeah let me know what's going on here all right talk to you soon bye now